Hello and welcome to this week's Trade of the Week on Monday, the 16th of September 2024. At the end of uh, August, you might remember, we went uh, short Arabica coffee and uh, that trade, uh, as I can show you here, uh, worked out quite well at first. Uh, we made around a 9% profit. But for those of you who didn't get out with that profit, because we didn't quite hit my downside target, to be fair to uh, the market, um, basically, uh, we last week said that you should lower your stop loss level to your entry level. Because after all, we're trading against the trend, which is an uptrend. And uh, this was the right thing to do, because basically, had you done that, had you moved your stop loss to either a small profit or to your break even level, at which you have no loss, well, you would have been stopped out, as you can see here, as Arabica coffee prices are making new all time highs here, or at least multi year highs. Um, so uh, that is always a good thing to do when you have a trade on to lower your stop loss to your break even level. So you have a potentially risk-free trade on as soon as you can. Uh, and, and this is what happened here. So in case you didn't make a profit on that one, you shouldn't have lost any money uh, if you followed those rules we discussed last week. Now, uh, last week we went short um, soybeans. And you can see here we did them in the direction of the trend because after all, we have a series of lower highs and lower lows, which is the definition of a downtrend. And then we had a correction against the downtrend and we're selling into that correction. So we're trying to swim with the tide. And here we went short around uh, 1,020, and you can see here, really nothing has happened, very little volatility. We're just trading out that, around that uh, short level from last week. So if you haven't entered that one, you can still do so. Uh, the stop loss is still at the same place I, I put it uh, last time. It's still a long way up, around 1,150. Why is it so high? Be because basically we've got um, the um, mid-April low and we've got the early July high. That resistance area here basically uh, shouldn't be overcome for this downtrend to continue. So that one is still valid. Um, nothing much going on there, which brings me to this week's trade of the week. And um, basically, uh, what I would like to do is to go long uh, sugar futures. And the reason for this is that it looks to me as if we have formed a bottom here or are in the process of forming a bottom, did so in August. And uh, that was mainly just below the May low here. And then we saw a rise of five consecutive days. And that was quite a significant rise, taking us up above previous highs. And therefore, right now, uh, we're just seeing an ABC correction in terms of early waves, I think. And we should see further upside. So that's why I would like to go long um, sugar. So this week's uh, trade of the week is to go long US uh, number 11 sugar futures at around uh, 1923. Um, current levels with a stop loss uh, below the recent lows at 1770 and an upside target around 21.